first reading a reading from the prophet isaiah chapter 7 verses 10 to 14 chapter 8 verses 10 the lord spoke to ahaz saying ask for a sign from the lord your god let it be deep as the nether world or high as the sky but ahaz answered i will not ask i will not tempt the lord then isaiah said listen O house of David is it not enough for you to weary people must you also weary my god therefore the lord himself will give you this sign the virgin shall be with child and bear a son and shall name him emmanuel which means god is with us the word of the lord second reading a reading from the letter to the hebrews chapter 10 verses 4 to 10 Brothers and sisters it is impossible that the blood of bulls and goats take away sins for this reason when Christ came into the world he said sacrifice and offering you did not desire but a body you prepared for me in holocaust and sin offering you took no delight then i said as is written of me in the scroll behold i come to do your will o god first he says sacrifice and offerings holocaust and sin offerings you neither desire nor delighted in these are offered according to the law then he says behold i come to do your will he takes away the first two establish the second by this will we have been consecrated through the offering of the body of jesus christ once for all the word of the lord a reading from the holy gospel according to st luke chapter 1 verses 26 to 38 the angel gabriel was sent from god to a town of galilee called nazareth to a virgin betrothed to a man named joseph of the house of david and the virgin's name was mary and coming to her he said hail full of grace the lord is with you but she was greatly troubled at what was said and pondered what sort of greeting this might be then the angel said to her do not be afraid mary for you have found favor with god behold you will conceive in your womb and bear a son and you shall name him jesus he will be great and will be called son of the most high and the lord god will give him the throne of david his father and he will rule over the house of jacob forever and of his kingdom there will be no end but mary said to the angel how can this be since i have no relations with a man and the angel said to her in reply the holy spirit will come upon you and the power of the most high will overshadow you therefore the child to be born will be called holy the son of god and behold elizabeth your relative has also conceived a son in her old age and this is the sixth month for her who was called barren for nothing will be impossible for god mary said behold i am the handmaid of the lord may it be done to me according to your word then the angel departed from her the gospel of the lord dear friends in jesus christ for the salvation of the world god had a beautiful plan in executing that plan god also had separate plans for each and every individual who are involved in the salvation story one among them was mary whom we find in the gospel today today in the gospel we find god announcing his plan to mary through angel gabriel when god announces his plan to mary mary says yes to god She says, "I am the handmaid of God. May your will be done in my life." She readily gives her consent. As a result, what happens? She becomes the mother of God, and at last, the queen of heaven. Readily gave the consent. As a result, God's plan in her life was fulfilled. The friends in Jesus Christ, God has beautiful plans for us as well. But. he will not execute those plans in our lives without our consent as he did with mary he waits for our consent he waits for our permission with our consent only 
he will execute his plan. He will execute his plan. He waits for our consent all the time, right? You may have seen that picture of Jesus where he knocks at the door, right? He, there you, you do not find him uh, breaking the door open, no, he knocks at the door. If the person who is inside uh, invites, the, invites Jesus, then of course he will come. With the consent only he acts, right? Therefore, it is important that we give our consent for Jesus so, so that he can execute his beautiful plan in our lives. It is important. Let us ask the question, do we do what Mary did? Mary gave her consent to God to execute his plan in her life, but do we give our consent? Through different people, through different incidents, God makes known to us his plan, right? He gives us hints as to what his plan is in our life. But sometimes we fail to give our consent. Sometimes we fail to do the needful for God to execute his plan in our lives. Sometimes we ourselves become a hindrance for God to execute his plan in our lives. Thereby we fail to give the consent for God to execute his plan in our lives. As a result, what happens? We miss the fulfillment of the execution of God's plan in our lives, right? Because we do not give the consent, we have failed to give the consent. Dear friends, remember the most beautiful thing that can ever happen in our lives is the fulfillment of God's beautiful plan in our lives. But for that to happen, we have to give consent. Therefore, let us do what Mary did. Then the most beautiful thing that can ever happen in our lives will happen. God's beautiful plan would, would be fulfilled in our lives if we give our consent like Mary. Let us close our eyes for a short prayer. Dear Lord Jesus, we thank you for having a beautiful plan for my life. Without just having a beautiful plan for me, for me, you have made me aware through different people and through different incidents about that beautiful plan. Thank you for your thoughtfulness, thank you for your thoughtfulness and also you wait for my consent in order to execute that beautiful plan in my life. You do that because you respect, my, respect the free will that you have given me. Thank you dear Jesus, thank you for your love, thank you for the respect that you have shown me, thank you for everything. But in my life, I have failed to give my consent to you. For you to execute your beautiful plan in my life, I have to give my consent. But in my life, I have miserably failed in my giving, in giving my consent to you. I am sorry dear Jesus, I am really sorry. Today I make a resolution to do what Mary did, to give my consent like Mary, to give my consent readily to you. Help me do that by doing the needful, by not being a hindrance to you. Help me give my consent to you so that you can execute your beautiful plan in my life. Thereby help me to experience the fulfillment of the most beautiful thing that can ever happen in my life. The fulfillment of your beautiful plan in my life. This we ask of you who live and reign forever and ever. Amen.